I'm, I'm Shahar with Buzz Booster. You know, I don't know why, but in the last few days, I've heard quite a few people talking about social media and saying that social media doesn't work. Well, let's really take a look at this. Most of the businesses using social media are not seeing good returns on, on their efforts, but there is a reason for that. 90% uh, of the time, they don't have a strategy. And really, a strategy is important in everything you do in business. You should have an overall strategy. What most people do is they just start using tools like Facebook and Twitter and adding people without having a clue on how they want to convert that into business. The second thing is all the people that are using these tools and running for a popularity contest and a connection contest, but really doing nothing in order to turn that into uh, a profitable business. So you have to be careful because when you're using social media for business, everything is a little different than what you see everybody else doing. And doing what everybody else is doing, not usually a good idea anyway in any part of business. So have those things in mind because social media can work really well for businesses as long as you have a strategy and you, you, you know what you're doing in that environment. Now, more important than that is that you have to ask if you as a business, you are irresistible to your market. Have you ever asked that question? Because, you know, when we talk about using social media, we are always in a very crowded space. You have 500 million people using Facebook. You have millions of people using Twitter and a lot of people doing the same thing that you're doing, giving tips, talking to their followers and friends. But maybe nobody's paying attention. There is a huge difference between the numbers that you have as followers and, and friends and the number of people that really pay attention to you and act when you ask them to. Uh, it's worthless for you to have 22,000 followers on Twitter if they don't pay attention to what you're doing. As it's worthless to you having 5,000 friends on Facebook if they don't pay attention to you. Now we all live in a very crowded marketplace. So what makes people pay attention to us? We need to become irresistible to them. There are basically seven things that you have to put in place in your business in order to become irresistible to the marketplace. The very first one is to have an irresistible promise. What's the promise you give to your market? That is really crucial. Second one is to unveil your core story. Be about something and be about something that people can follow, uh, especially if you can have a cause around that. I want to give you a very interesting example of a company called the Bread Kitchen. You know what they do? They have 11 women from different countries making bread and granolas and other things from their countries. And they sell that and of course part of it goes into charity. That's a very good cause that people would love to follow. And they are selling bread, something that you can buy for cents anywhere. The third thing you need to do is have your unique voice. We buy from businesses that have personality, that have a unique voice, that you know what they are about. Do you have a unique voice online? Because you need one. Another thing that you need to, be, to do today is incorporate some mystique and some mystery into your business. And that comes in the way you create relationships with people that are following you or are your friends or your prospects. It's really, that is a very important component that very few businesses do well. Some do extremely well. Uh, then you have to be uber present. And it's only at this point that you really worry about social media, being everywhere, but being everywhere in an automated way. So you don't waste a lot of time uh, just making connections and becoming popular, but you get the results you're looking for. Creating rituals in your business is extremely important. These are processes that you create where you really guide the interaction that people have with your business. Really, really important. And the last one, a high level of trust. Remember always that, especially online, when people don't buy from you, it's either because your message is not clear, they don't believe you, or you fail into creating desire. You need to work on those three, but have in mind that people believing you and trusting you is really crucial in business today. And again, the internet, online videos, audios, blogs, they can all help you increasing that level of trust. 
Well, you know, these are very, very high level concepts and you need to apply those in your business. So get to know more about how to become a resistible business. We have a 90 minute audio going really in depth in each of those steps. It doesn't cost you a thing. All you need to do is go to irresistiblebiz, that's B-I-Z, dot com slash now. Irresistiblebiz dot com slash now. Take that audio class for free and you will really will be able to implement those components into your business because I want your business to be irresistible. This is Shahar signing out.